Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Solon Stadium, Elm Street Park, for Championship Day here at the Tournament of State Champions for 8 through 10 year olds. Today's game between the visiting team, Loudon South American Little League, and from South Riding, Virginia, and Tar Heel Little League from Greenville, North Carolina. Both these games, teams won games yesterday. Loudon South American defeated North Northern Little League from Columbus, Georgia. And Tar Heel defeated the team from Tampa League, Tampa Bay, Florida. The home team today is Greenville Tar Heel. Let's go through their starting lineups. Number five, Rook Nittles, your shortstop. Number six, Landon Scott's the second baseman. Number three, Parker Simos, the catcher. Number 12, Tyce Thompson's the right fielder. Number 10, Chase Davis is your third baseman. Number seven, Webb Evans is your first baseman. Number eight, Matthew Tindles is center fielder. Number nine, Luke Tindles, the left fielder. Number two, Landon Brown's your pitcher. Your reserves are number one, William Litchfield, number four, Sullivan Cobb, number 11, Kaysen Chase, and number 13, A.B. Doughty. Tar Heel has two pitchers that are not eligible to pitch today. That's number two, Brown, and number five, Nittle. That's not right. Check that. It's not Brown. It is Simo that's not eligible at number three. Loudon South American Little League enters today's game with a 3-0 record in pool play in addition to their victory yesterday. Greenville Tar Heel Little League enters today's game with a 2-1 record in pool play with their only loss being a 6-5 loss to this Virginia team. We had a Line of storms come through last night. Brought in a nice cool front. Temperature right now is in the mid 80s. A few clouds in the sky, a nice breeze. Blowing out of the northwest. Field is in great shape and we're ready to go. The first hitter for Loudon South American is number three, Logan Havkos, the catcher. Here's the first Brown delivery. Swung on. And it's lined out to the third baseman, Chase Davis. That brings up number 40, J.W. Valentini. First pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Counts now even one and one. This ball's hit on the ground, fielded by Scott, the second baseman. He flips over to first, the ball that throws wide. Valentini reaches on the air, he advances a second. On the throw. That brings up number 21, Ryan Barr. So with one out here in the top of the first inning. I got it. One out here in the top of the first inning. 
Loudon South has run at second with one out. First pitch to bar, misses low for ball one. Next pitch is lined down the left side, just foul. Here's the next Brown delivery. It's fouled to the left side again. Count is now one and two. Pitch is wide in the dirt. Nil retrieves, throws down third, not in time. Valentini is safe at third base. So we have two balls, two strikes. Lyle South has a runner at third base, no score in the game. Brown's delivery is high. Count goes full to bar. Next Brown delivery misses outside for a ball four. Bar earns the base on balls. We now have runners at first and third with one out. That brings up number 27, Dev, uh, Daniel Lee. Lee is six for 12 in the tournament. First pitch, bounces in. Bar advances the second. Valentini holds at third, so we now have runners at second and third with one out. Count is one and oh to Lee. Next pitch from Brown is outside. They're going to go ahead and put Lee on. It's ball three. And ball four. So Lee is intentionally walked. Loud and South's going to make a substitution. Swigert, Teddy Swigert, number seven, is going to enter and hit for Carter Centrone in the five spot. Loud South has the bases loaded with one out here in the top of the first inning. No score. First pitch from Brown is swung on and fouled back by Swigert. Tar Heel Little League has their infield about regular depth, maybe just a tad in. Next pitch misses outside. Brown's next delivery, swung on, hitting the gap between third and short. One run will score. All other runners advance. Credit Swigert with a single and an RBI. That brings up number eight, Cole Opsgarden. 
first pitch is outside and low for ball one. Next delivery from Brown. Swung on and missed by Oaks Garden. Count is now even one and one. Pitch is it's high inside. Counts now two and one to Oaks Garden. Brown's next delivery is low and outside. Counts now three and one. Three-one Brown delivery is taken for strike two. The count is now full, three and two. Here's the payoff pitch, swung on, line shot to the shortstop, middle for the second out of the inning. Brings up number 16, Braden Funk. This ball's hit on the ground, fielded by Davis. He flips over to second base for the force out in the third out of the inning. But not before Loud South American scores one in the top of the inning. We now head to the bottom half of the first. The score, Loud South one, Tar Heel nothing. Okay. The Loud South pitcher has completed his warm up tosses, so let's give you the starting lineup. Number three, Logan Halfcost is the catcher. Number 40, J.W. Valentini is your third baseman. 21, Ryan Barris at shortstop. Number 27, Dave, Daniel Lee is at left field. Number two, Carter Centrones in center field. Number eight, Cole Obscard is the second baseman. Number 16, Braden Funk is the first baseman. Double zero, Jeffrey Burpo is in right field. And number 11, Charlie Sampson is your pitcher. First pitch from Sampson is taken for strike one. The reserves for Loudon South American is number one, Norman Lopez. Number seven, Teddy Swigert. Number nine, Braden Van Gimmert. Number 17, Jackson Casada. And number 22, Corbin Reichland. Next pitch is hitting the gap between third and short. For a Niddle base hit. Niddle's been red hot <coughs> this tournament. 
prior to that at bat. Niddle was eight for nine with five walks. Loud South has got two pitchers that are ineligible today. That would be number seven, Swaggart, and number 17, Cassetta. Counts quickly, 2-0 and to Landon Scott. Here's the next Sampson delivery. He's hit high in the air to right field. Right fielder retreats, reaches over, makes a catch. He flips back to first base, hoping to catch Niddle sleeping. Niddle's back in time. We have one out with the base runner at first. That brings up number three, Parker Simo. Simo calls time and steps out. Here's the Samson delivery. Swung on, hit hard to right field. Gets by the right fielder. Niddle round second. He's in safely at third. Credit Simo with a single. He advanced the second on the misplayed ball by the right fielder. Tar Heel has runners at second and third with one out. That brings up number 12, Tice Thompson. Thompson is hot as well. He's eight for 13. First pitch from Sampson is outside. Next pitch misses outside as well. Count is now 2-0 oh to Thompson. Sampson's next delivery is outside. Count is now 3-0. I'd be surprised if they give him anything to hit here. Next pitch is outside as well for ball four. Brings up Chase Davis, number 10. Davis is five for eight with four walks in the tournament. Lyle South calls time. Okay, let's recap what we have here. The home team, Tar Heel, is batting here in the bottom of the first. They have the bases loaded with one out. They're trailing one to nothing. First pitch to Davis is high. Pitch is low. The count's now 2 0 to Davis. Lowndes South has the, their corners in on the infield. Next Sampson delivery swung on and missed by Davis for strike one.
This pitch catches the outside corner, evens the count at two and two. Next Sampson delivery stays outside, runs the count full at three and two. Here's the payoff pitch to Chase Davis. It's low in the dirt. He earns the walk. That forces Nittle home and ties the ball game. Next battle will be number seven, Webb Evans. First pitch from Sampson, misses high. The bases are loaded. We have one out here in the bottom half of the first inning. The score is tied one apiece. Next, Sampson delivery misses low. Count is now 2-0 to, to Webb Evans. Pitch is taken by Evans for strike one. Here's the 2 1 Sampson delivery. Just misses, runs the count to 3 and 1. Sampson's next delivery misses outside. Evans earns the walk. That forces home Simo for the second run in the inning for. Tar Heel. Looks like Loudon South's going to make a change at pitching. The new loud South American pitcher is Norman Lopez, number one. Lopez, number one, has entered the game for Sampson in the nine spot. The next Tar Heel hitter is number eight, Matthew Tyndall. 
Bruce Lopez pitch is taken for strike one. To recap, Tar Heel has the bases loaded here in the bottom of the first inning. There's one out. Next pitch is hit on the ground to the shortstop. He has trouble. He picks it up. He's unable to get to second base in time. A run scores. Matthew Tindall reaches first base safely on the air. First pitch hits Tindall. That forces home Davis. So we now have Webb Evans at third, Tind Matthew Tindall at second, and Luke Tindall at first. That brings up number two, Landon Brown. First pitch, check that second pitch is taken for strike one. Counts even to Brown at one and one. Next pitch is high and inside. Here's the Lopez delivery. It's hit in the air. Should be filled about a second base. He says underneath. Squeezes it for the second out of the inning. It takes us back to the top of the lineup at number five, Rook Niddle. Niddle singled his first time up. The bases are loaded. Here's a Lopez delivery. It's taken on the outside corner for strike one. We're in the bottom of the first inning. Tar Heel, the home team, is batting. Niddle swings and misses for strike two. The bases are loaded. They are leading Loudon South by a score of four to one. Lopez's next delivery is low. Nice job of blocking the ball by half cost. Counts one and two to Niddle. Here's the Lopez delivery. Swung on and it is fouled down the left side. Next pitch, swung on, goes just off the glove of the third baseman. Two runs are in. Credit Niddle with a double. Luke Tindall advances the third. Niddles at second and brings up number six, Landon Scott. He flew out to the right fielder his first time up. First pitch, misses high. Count, the score is now six to one. Tar Heel in front of Loudon South. Next pitch is swung on and missed by Scott. Count is even, one and one with two outs. Next pitch, misses, just a little high. Counts two and one. Lopez delivery, foul down the dirt. So we have two balls, two strikes, two outs, runners at second and third. We're in the bottom of the first inning. The home team Tar Heel was batting, leading by a score of six to one. 
Here's the next pitch. Hit on the ground between first and second. That'll score one. Nettles coming around. He decides to hold up. Scott is safely aboard it at first. The loud South American manager is questioning. Whether the runner slid into first base. Head first. The determination is no, he did not. Play stands. Scott is at first base. Niddle is at third base. We have two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. That brings up number three, Parker Simo. Here's the Lopez delivery, swung on, hit in the air to left field. Nittle scores. Scott advances to second. Credit Simo with a single in an RBI. That brings up number 12, Tyce Thompson. The first pitch misses inside. Scores now eight to one Tar Heel here in the bottom of the first inning. There's two outs. Next pitch is fouled to the left side. Tar Heel has runners at first and second with two outs. Thompson fouls the next pitch off to the left side as well. Counts now one and two to, tight, to Thompson. This pitch misses outside. Evens the count at two and two. Thompson rockets this ball down the left side, but foul. Here's the Lopez delivery. Swung on and missed by Thompson. The all-speed pitch got him, but not before Tar Heel puts eight on the board in the, the, in the bottom of the first. They lead by a score of eight to one as we head to the second inning.
First hitter for Loudon South American here in the top, top of the second inning is number double zero, Jeffrey Burpo. First pitch from Brown misses low for a ball one. Pitches outside. Next delivery is foul back and out of play by Burpo. Brown's next delivery catches the inside corner, evens the count at two and two. This pitch is swung on, line back to the pitcher for the first out of the inning. That brings up number one, Norman Lopez, the pitcher. First bit is hit hard on the ground to Davis at third. He flips over to Evans at first for the second out of the inning. That'll take us back to the top of the order in number three, Loven Halfcost. Brown's first pitch misses outside. Next pitch is inside. Brown's next delivery misses high. Count is now 3 0. Brown's next delivery catches the outside corner for the, the first strike of the at bat. Ball's hit in the air to center field. Ball's just beyond the reach of Tyndall, the center fielder. Half cost is in it safely at second with a double. Nice attempt by Matthew Tyndall there in the center field. He made a diving attempt, just was unable to hold on to the ball as he came to the ground. That brings up number 40, J.W. Valentini. Valentini reached on the air his first time. First pitch is low, half cost. Advances to second on the wild pitch. Check that advances to third on the wild pitch. Count is 1-0 and to Valentini. Next Brown delivery is inside. Next pitch is taken low. The count is now 3 0 to Valentini. Loudon South American came back from, from four runs down in the seventh inning yesterday to get the victory. 
So don't count them out. They are a very good team, and they can come back. Here's a 3-0 delivery. It misses high for ball four. Valentini reaches first base on a four-pitch walk from Brown. So we have runners at first and third with two outs here in the bottom of the top. Check that, top of the second inning. Tar Heel manager calls time. Brown is at 39 pitches here in the second inning. Barr walked his first time up. First Brown delivery misses outside. Runner takes off for second. Tar Heel tries to pull the sneak, the sneak play by throwing down his the short and bringing it back home. The throw is errant. So we have runners at second and third. Next pitch bounces up there by Brown. The count is now 2-0 to Barr. Brown's next delivery finds the strike zone. The count's now two and one. This ball's hitting the air to right to left field. Luton retreats, makes the catch for the third out of the inning. First batter here in the bottom of the second for Tar Heel is number 10, Chase Davis. He walked his first time up. First pitch sit on the ground. Back to the pitcher. Lopez fields it, flips over to the first baseman. Funk for the first out of the inning. Next battle will be number 11, Kaysen Chase.
Chase is hitting in the sixth spot for Webb Evans. Takes the second pitch for a called strike. Next pitch is foul back into the screen. Counts now one and two to Chase. Lopez's next delivery is foul back as well. Next deliver is fouled back as well by Case and Chase. He stays alive. Count is one and two. We have one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Tar Heels leading Loudon South by the score of eight to one. This ball's hit on the ground. The third baseman, he picks it up. He flips over to Funk at first, just ahead of the speedy Case and Chase for the second out of the inning. Number four, Sullivan Cobb is the next batter. He's hitting for Matthew Tindall. First pitch, misses. Next pitch hits Cobb. He earns a first base on a hit by pitch. Number one, William Litchfield enters to hit for Luke Tindall in the eighth spot. First pitch is hit on the ground through the legs of the first baseman. is a little hard to believe as he has got a huge glove on his hand. Litchfield is safely at first on the air. This ball is hit hard in the air to left field by A.B. Dowdy. It's the left fielder. Daniel Lee squeezes it for the third out of the inning as we head to the top of the third. First hitter for Loudon South American here in the top of the third inning is number 27, Daniel Lee.
First Brown delivery misses low and outside. Next pitch is Tomahawk down the left side and into the screen. Very hard hit ball. You really got around on that ball. Brown is an all-speed pitcher. He'll do that to you. Some of the hitters make good contact but have a hard time getting it between the lines. Brown's next delivery bounces in for ball two. This pitch catches the outside corner, evens the count at two and two. Pitch high. And here's the payoff pitch to Lee. It's taken for ball four. That'll bring up number two, Carter Centrone. First pitch bounces in, gets by Simo, the, the catcher. Lee advances to second on the wild pitch. Brown is now at 50 pitches. His pitching limit is 75. Centrone hits the ball nicely. Scott's unable to handle cleanly. Centron reaches on the air. Lee advances a third on the play, so Loudon South has runners at first and third with no outs here in the top of the third, and that brings up number eight, Cole Obstgarden. First pitch is taken for ball one. Centrone flirts at the second base steal. He decides to hold up. Here's the next Brown delivery. Hit hard to the left side, but foul. Count is now one and one. Brown's next delivery catches the outside corner. The runner Centrone is thrown out at second. Lee scores on the play. Next pitch from Brown, misses low. Oops, Garden fouls next pitch off down the third base line. So the score is now eight to two, Tar Heel leading Loudon South, no base runners. Count is now full to Oaks Garden. This 
Ball's hit sharply right at Evans. She does a nice job of fielding the low line shot. He picks it up, steps on the bag for the second out of the inning. Jackson Cassetta, number 17, now enters to bat for Brandon Braden Funk in his seventh spot. First pitch from Brown misses outside. Brown's next pitch misses as well. The count's now 2 0. Ball outside. Count is now 3 0. Brown is at 61 pitches here in the third inning. This misses low as well. Cassetta walks on a four, on four pitches from Brown. Funk is going to re-enter for Cassetta and run. Braden Van Gimmert will be the next batter for Loudon South. First pitch gets away from the catcher, Simo. Funk advances the second base on the wild pitch. Brown is at 63 pitches. We have two outs here in the top of the third inning. Loudon South has a runner at second. Ben Gimmer's the batter. Next pitch, catches the outside corner. He was the count at one and one to Van Gimmert. Brown's next delivery is hit. Softly to the right side. It's fielded by Webb Evans, number seven. He steps on the bag for the third out of the inning. But not before Loudon South puts one more on the board. Do Make the score now Tar Heel 8, Loudon South 2 as we head to the bottom half of the third inning.
First hitter for Tar Heel here in the bottom half of the third inning is the leadoff hitter, Rook Niddle. Niddle is two for two today. He is a red hot 10 for 11 for the tournament. First pitch is hit hard to right center. That's going to make it to the wall. He rounds first. He's headed for second. He's going to hold up right there with this stand up double. And Niddle continues to be on a hitting tear. Brings up number six, Landon Scott. Scott singled his last time up and flied out to the right fielder his first time. Here's the Lopez delivery. Scott attempts a bunt, bunts it off to the left side. This pitch is bunted nicely. Picked up by the first baseman, he flips over to the second baseman. He does not have his foot on the bag. They're not paying attention. Scott runs down to second base. Niddle holds at third. Scott is aboard on the air. Time is called by Loudon South. Manager is out encouraging his, his ball players. Parker Simo will be the next batter. Simo is two for two today. First pitch misses outside. Here's the Lopez delivery. It's high and outside. Counts now 2 0 to Simo. Next pitch misses as well. The count is now 3 0 to Simo. Next Lopez delivery finds the plate. Pitch misses. Simo is at first base with the base on balls. Now with the bases loaded and no outs here in the bottom of the third, that brings up Tice Thompson, number 12. Thompson walked his first time up, struck out the second time. First pitch is taken for strike one. Next pitch is high. Lopez's next delivery misses high as well. This ball's hit high in the air to center field. Center fielder drops back, sets underneath and makes the catch, fires the ball in. He gets by the pitcher and the catcher. They retrieve it. Scott holds on at third. Credit Thompson with a sack fly. In the first out of the inning. 
So Tar Heel now has runners at second and third. They're going, Loud South's going to make a pitching change here. Carter Centrone comes in to pitch for Loudon South. Charlie Sampson re enters the game for Norman Lopez. Centron has completed his warm-up tosses, so it's reset the situation. We're in the bottom of third inning. Greenville Tar Heel leads by a score of nine to two. They have one out and runners at second and third. Chase Davis, number ten, is the batter. First pitch is hit high in the air in the, in the uh, infield. Second baseman settles underneath it. He squeezes it for the second out of the inning. Now to bring up number seven, Webb Evans. Evans walked his first time up. First pitch from Centrone is low. Nice block by Havcost. Keep the ball out in front. Have a good crowd to show it up here today for our championship game. We'd like to thank you everyone on, online for joining us as well. Next pitch misses outside. I've enjoyed calling all these games this week. It's been very exciting play, very evenly matched teams, the, the most I've ever seen. Next pitch from Central misses as well. The count is now 3-0. I have been, been involved in all of these Tournament State Champions tournaments here in Greenville, and I cannot remember a more evenly talented field among the eight teams. Count is now three and one to Webb Evans. This ball's hit on the ground, picked up by the third baseman, Sampson. He throws over the first base, Funk. The first base does a nice job of keeping a toe in the bag as he reached over and made the call. After three complete, you score. It's Tar Heel nine, Loudon South two.
As we move to the top of the fourth inning, the new Greenville Tar Heel pitcher is number seven, Webb Evans. The first hitter for Loudon South is number 11, Charlie Sampson. Tindall's first delivery just misses just outside. Next pitch is high. This ball's hit on the ground, fielded by the first baseman. He steps on the bag with the force out in the first out inning. That's Matthew Tindall. He's been playing center field. He slides on over. Landon Brown is now in center field. Brings us back to the top of the order in Logan Havkost. Havkost has a double and two plate appearances. He swings and misses for strike one. Next pitch misses outside. <laughs> Evans' next delivery catches the outside corner. The count's now one and two to have cost. Now speed is fouled back into the screen. Pitch bounces up to the plate. Count is now two and two to half cost. Ball's hit down the right side and foul. Fielders re return to their positions. And here's the Evans delivery. This is hit high in the air to shallow left field. Shortstop, Rook Niddle slides back, makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Now to bring up number 40, J.W. Check that. Corbin Reichlin, number 22, enters for Valentini to hit in the two spot. First pitch misses outside and low. Nice fastball catches the outside corner. This ball's hit in the air to the first baseman, Tyndall. He squeezes it for the third out of the inning. As we head to the bottom of the fourth inning, the score remains Tar Heel 9, Loudon South 2.
First hitter for Tar Heel here in the bottom of the fourth is number eight, Matthew Tyndall. Tyndall reach on an air his first time up. Centrone's first pitch is taken for strike one. Next delivery is fouled back for strike two. Pitch is high and outside. Now speed swung on and missed by Tyndall for strike three in the first out of the inning. Brings up number nine, Luke Tyndall. Tyndall was hit by pitch his first time up. First pitch is swung on and missed. Strike one. It's pitch is hit on the ground to the third baseman. He picks it up, throws high over the first baseman's head. Tyndall reaches first on the air. Next batter is number 13, A.B. Dowdy. Dowdy flew out to the left fielder his first time up. First pitch is high. This ball's hit nicely into shallow center field. Credit Dowdy with a single. <laughs> Landon Brown re-enters to run for A.B. Dowdy. Rook Niddle, number five, steps in. He is three for three today. Centrone's first pitch misses high and outside. This ball is rocketed back up the middle past the pitcher's head. Center fielder picks it up. Runner's coming home. Throws there. Catches not. Tindall slides in. We now have runners at first and second. Credit Nittle with his fourth hit today, a stand up. We'll give him a single. He advanced to second on the throw. Situation is this we are in the bottom of the fourth inning. Tar Heel leads by a score of 10 to 2. They have. The game ending run at second base, if they can get him home. Scott takes the next pitch for a ball. Loud South has the infield in, trying to keep their runner Brown at third from scoring. Next pitch from Centrone is taken on the outside corner for strike one. The count's now two and one to Landon Scott. Next pitch is hit on the ground, fielded by Sampson. 
He flips it home to Havkos. He tags Brown as he's coming home for the second out of the inning. So with two outs. The hitter is Parker Simo, number three. He's got two hits. Loudon South calls time. Scott is at second base. Niddles at third. Scott now represents the game ending run as they would win on under the 10 run rule after four innings. First pitch, Simo misses high. Loud South has the right side deep. Left side in. Count is 2 and 0. Oh. Simo. There's two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Next pitch, swung on, foul down the first baseline. Centrone's next delivery misses Hyde. Counts now three and one to Simo. This pitch is swung on. Hit to center field. He slides over, makes the catch for the third out of the inning. As we move to the fifth inning, the score is now Greenville Tar Hill 10, Loudon South American 2. First batter for Loudon South American here in the top of the fifth inning is number 21, Ryan Barr. Barr's walked and flied out to the left fielder. First pitch from Tindall misses high. This pitch is a Strike zone up in the, in the uh, upper half of the strike zone. Tindall doesn't like to call. He backs off, looks for another pitch. Here's the delivery. Fouled back by Barr for strike two. Next 
pitch is just high. Even as the count at two and two. Got a good crowd here watching the hometown team, Greenville Tar Heel. We have a lot of people here as well for Loudon South. This ball's hit nicely over the left fielder's head. He's going to retreat back to the wall. Barr rounds first. He's in for a stand-up double. Nicely hit bar, ball by Ryan Barr for his first base hit of the day. Daniel Lee, number 27, is up next. Lee has been walked twice, one time intentionally. This ball's hit high in the air, should be fielded by the infielder. Second baseman's calling for it. He squeezes it for the first out of the inning. Number seven, Teddy Swigert is going to re-enter and hit in the foul spot for Carter Centron. Here's the first pitch from Tyndall. Hit nicely in the left field. That's going to fall in for base hit. Barr advances the third. Swigert is credited with a single. He's at first base. That brings up number eight, Cole Opesgarden. Opesgarden has had a nice tournament coming into the day. He has eight hits and 12 at bats. First pitch misses for ball one. This ball's hit on the ground sharply at the third base. He picks it up, flips to second. He flips to first for the double play. So we head to the bottom half of the fifth. The score remains Greenville Tar Heel 10. Loud South American two. First batter of the bottom of the fifth inning for Tar Heel is number 12, Tice Thompson. Thompson had a sack fly his last time up. 
First pitch misses outside for Centrone. Next pitch is outside as well. Thompson fouls the next pitch off to the right side. Pitch is low. Counts now three and one. Ball is fouled off the batter's leg in the box. Count is full to Thompson, three and two. Next pitch misses outside for ball four. Brings up number 10, Chase Davis. Number 11, Kaysen Chase is going to special pinch run for Tyce Thompson. Davis hits the first pitch to the shortstop. He's unable to field it cleanly. Davis reaches on the air. Case and Chase safely in its second. Evans, number seven, is the next batter. Counts quickly 0 and 1 to him. Nick Centro pitch is bunted. Pitcher picks it up, flips over to first, first base. First baseman does not tag the bag. Check that second baseman, Oaks Garden. He misses the bag with his foot. Evans is safely aboard at first. Davis is at second. Thompson is at third. Davis represents the game inning run at second base. Matthew Tyndall, the pitcher, steps in with no outs here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch is taken high for ball one. Next pitch from Centrone catches the outside corner. The count is now one and one. Next pitch is taken low. Count is now two and one to Matthew Tyndall. Pitch catches the inside corner. It counts even at two and two. Ball's hit on the ground, fielded by second baseman. He picks up, throws the first, not in time. They've got Scott in a rundown. Check that. Davis, Chase Davis in the rundown. 
He's out at home. So on the play, Ty Thompson comes home to score. Tindall is safe at first on the fielder's choice. He advances the second on the play home. Luke Tindall hits the ball hard over the left fielder's head. It goes to the wall. Webb Evans comes home to win the ball game. Your 2019 Terminus State Champions is Greenville Tar Hill. Congratulations. I'd like to also congratulate the Loudoun South American team. They've had an excellent tournament. This was their first loss. They did not play well today, but they have played well all week long. They are the Virginia State champions for a reason. They have a very good ball club. Great job by the Greenville Tar Heel kids on an excellent all-star season. They are your 2019 eight through 10-year-old tournament of state champions champions. 